Hey guys, this is Chris Shumahorn with Meyerson. Today we're gonna to talk about looting a milled tooth to a milled Duraflex base, having a socket that it sits in. So this is what I'm talking about here. We have a unilateral and a tooth that's been designed to fit into the socket of it. I've had a lot of questions on this and it's kind of not an easy thing because Duraflex is so resistant to anything adhering to it. And it's great for stains, bacteria, and smells, but for looting a tooth to it, it has some challenges. So I like to use just regular tooth colored acrylic matching the color of the tooth that's being placed because that tooth colored acrylic will bond with the actual PMMA denture tooth you've created. It will not, however, bond to the Duraflex base. So we have to kind of reverse engineer things. When we made uh, a regular traditional Duraflex and we injected it, we created holes or diatorics up in the denture tooth. The material flows up in, that locks it on. In this case, we have to create those holes in the actual Duraflex base uh, so that when we push the tooth into place, it'll flow into those holes and lock it onto that base. All right, so what I've done already is we've created a stump. In the design of the tooth, I kind of somewhat hollowed the tooth out, which then when it's formed to the Duraflex base, it creates a bump. And that's good for lateral stresses on dislodging that tooth. I will still will create some mechanical retentions up in that hole, even though I'm gonna get a chemical lock um, that will allow for a little extra mechanical lock. In the Duraflex base, I've drilled some retentive holes on that post, as well as in the periphery of the ridge, kind of making it lock, uh, kind of have an undercut that it'll lock in. So everything is mechanically based as far as that's concerned. So our Duraflex base, our tooth that sits perfectly to that base, we'll lock them together. So we want it to have some fluidity to it. And I have separator obviously on my model. And I placed a little monomer on the Duraflex base just to allow for the acrylic to have some flowability. Placed monomer on my denture tooth, starting to, to eat up that base. As you can see, I put more than what I need. I set that in and we place it. We should have material oozing. Q-tips are really good kind of clean in the necks. And we'll be able to take a hand piece to this after and clean it up even more. Now you want that uh, acrylic, kind of hold it until it gets to a state where it's more putty and that'll kind of hold your tooth in there. Okay, now it's ready to go to the pot to cure. All right, so as you can see, um, it works pretty well. Uh, there is challenges if there's limited occlusion, you don't have enough space to put good uh, diatorch or retentive locking mechanisms in that socket, that can be problematic. Um, you know, you have to be concerned with a couple of those things, but generally speaking, it's a nice process and works really well. Um, if you have any questions, contact Meyerson. Um, usually they can get me on the phone and we'll get you going straight on this. You also have the ability to make frameworks with this if you have limited occlusion. Um, the acetyl is a nice option for that because they're tooth colored and you can make the tooth and a whole partial out of that material. So we have options as a company available. Uh, I hope this is uh, inform informative for you. Um, this is Christian Horn. Thanks.